Hey, what's going on guys? It's me Aiden. Welcome back to Miraculous Monday. Now, last week to everyone's surprise, we actually hit a bingo for the first time in forever. So congratulations, we're wearing the horns. If we hit it again this week, then I will be wearing the wig. Now, it's interesting because next week is a stream. Just this is a reminder for you. Next Saturday on the 22nd, starting at 1.30 p.m. EST, we will be streaming next week's Miraculous Monday. So uh, I hope to see everyone there. So keep the like mark it down on your calendar. There will be like a little notification that pops up. Uh, if you have notifications turned on through YouTube, there should be at least. So that should remind you of when the stream will actually be occurring and starting and stuff like that. So just keeping that in mind that next Saturday in a few days, it'll be like five days at uh, some, somewhere around there because I it's a one week for me because this is a Saturday for me. Um, but when this uh, episode airs, it will be on Monday. So it'll be like five days or so. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So let's go ahead and hop right into this video. Can we just talk about this picture of Adrian on Gabriel's wall? Is this a real photo? I, I feel like I've seen this before and always thought like this was like a fan made thing. I didn't realize this was actually a, an image that Gabriel has. That's interesting. Where, where did we see this? What episode is this from? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments, but I don't... Because I, I swear, I saw this on the internet or something because I was looking up Adrian for something. Uh, and this popped up. And I was like, huh, that's a cool edit. I didn't realize it was real. Oh my goodness. My drawing of Ladybug. Oh, nice. You did a good job here. The shading in the hair. Oh, man. Shading is always so nice. So satisfying when it looks right. It looks really good here. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. People get so mad at Adrian for not knowing Marinette loves him when she says stuff like this to him. You're not exactly a good friend. You're a great friend, you know? That's that. <laughs> That's, that's what you are, Adrian. You're, you're not a good friend, but you're a great friend. Even maybe a fantastic friend, FF. Oh man, we'll, we'll cut out the BFF and just make it an FF, a fantastic friend, you know? <laughs> oh man, yeah, I don't know. I don't know whose fault it is at this point, but it, it's, it's a combination of the two. Also, SAMG, oh my goodness, so good. Thank you, SAMG. I love, I love it. It looks really good. You, you bless us with amazing animation and rendering. This ship is the CEO of Cute. Change my mind. Uh, actually, no. I disagree. This is the worst ship. This is a toxic ship, if anything. I mean, like, I know they're the same person, but like the idea behind it, right? It's, it's okay. Let me explain for you, right? Ladybug and, and I guess Marinette as well. All, like they, I mean, they're the same person, so obviously. <laughs> um, they look at Adrian, and Adrian to them is the ideal person that they like, right? And that's sort of how, um, like, like when you like someone, that's sort of what happens, right? Like you see someone, maybe it's like, ooh, love at first sight or whatever, right? So you have a crush on them, right? But you know, that's not. The person that you have a crush on is not typically who that person actually is on the inside or like, you know, there's more to them than what you see and what you fell in love with initially, right? So Marinette sees Adrian, but she doesn't really, you know, like when it's like a first crush kind of thing, right? She doesn't really know the true Adrian and like what it would be like when you're actually dating him, right? Same thing with Adrian towards Ladybug, right? And it's a little bit weird in this situation because, you know, obviously Ladybug is a superhero. There's a lot more that you don't know about Ladybug, um, especially, you know, because she's a superhero, she has to put on a good face even to her teammates, right? So even if she did happen to have a bad personality, since she's a superhero and if she's a professional about it, she would try to cover that up to make herself appear better because that's sort of like what you have to do because you're a superhero, right? So it's sort of a toxic relationship because you're just like, you're only seeing the the outside. You're not actually like looking in. And I mean, that's sort of things that you just, that's why people break up, right? Because because as you get to know the person, you're like, okay, this, so you're not actually um, who I initially thought you were, right? And my opinions about you have changed a little bit. So that's why this is actually the the most toxic ship because it's just saying Adrian at face value and Ladybug at face value without like taking into account um, 
like who they are which i it's weird since you know it's like and i'm equating it to a toxic ship it's not necessarily toxic because they do know each other more than than what they like to say because you know obviously cat noir knows ladybug more than adrian would know ladybug and obviously um you know marinette knows adrian more than ladybug or i feel like i messed something up along the line there <laughs> but anyway point is um it's not like necessarily super toxic it's just the most toxic one out of the bunch because they're just taking everything at face value without actually thinking things through right um they're just going based off of like oh first crush or whatever right so that's why i'm not i'm not a big fan that was quite a long rant i'm sorry <laughs> thomas posted a new character design i don't know looks pretty cool though Treating myself to new ancestors. Here's Madangbali. I'm sorry, I know for a fact I butchered that. Is that Korean? I, it might be Korean. Uh, what do you think of it? Looks very cool. I like it. I always love seeing the ancestors. Because even though they're not like, I mean, canon. I, you could argue both ways on that. Um, but it's just cool seeing like, you know, the history and the lore behind um, you know, Ladybug and things like that. Like, we're never going to see more from this character probably, right? But I just think it's cool to see because it shows that, like, there is a history to Ladybug. And, I don't know, I just like that. I made my friends and I mugs with our miraculous symbols on the bottom. Oh, wow, that's so cool. That would have taken so long because, what, you had to make, like, three or four of these? That's insane, but that looks cool, though. That's awesome. You got the old design. I, uh, am I the only one who prefers the old Miracle Box? I, like, sure, the new one's cool, but, like, the old one has style, you know? It's not just a round ball. <laughs> the old one, I like it. I don't know, I don't know something about it, though. Just, I, I really like it. It's, it's a good design, and I miss it. But, oh well. It, 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 the Miraculous powers have evolved over the years, and I guess so has the box. Tiki kissing Marinette goodnight. Tiki is a good Kwame, or, and, and a good friend, I guess. She, she's just a good companion to have in general. What episode was this from? Was this from season? I, uh, mm, I don't know. I can't tell. There's, I feel like there's too many episodes that, that this could have occurred in, so I can't tell, and there's nothing in the background that would have um, helped me point it out. Aside from maybe the animation. It's not an SAMG episode, so that means it's either from season 2 or 3, so I don't know. Or 4. I actually forgot about 4. It's weird. It's weird adjusting to a 4th season, because, you know, we, we went like a whole year with just, you know, seasons 1 through 3. I, I, well, I guess longer, like after season 2 aired, season 3 was airing. I was covering the show when season 2 um, was airing, like halfway through. I started covering it, um, but I started really getting into it for like end of season two and beginning of season three so that's uh yeah that's sort of some history between when i started so i wasn't here for the air of season one so <laughs> i'm a relatively new guy on the scene i suppose you could say i can't believe i got hooked up to the show so much a kid show then i'm a kid first episodes of season one rest of season one was there that big of a difference though i mean sure there was volpina but i, I feel like season one was just sort of all similar maybe not it's been a little while since I've seen season one. Season two got better. It did get a little bit better, yeah. I will say there was a few episodes in there, like the episodes where they introduced new powers or heroes. Those were the good episodes, and then the finale. The finale was a really good episode. Or I guess two episodes. Season three, oh yeah. Season three started getting pretty good. Finale though, kind of dropped the ball on that. And then Cat Belong, which was also season three, just sort of like oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I guess that is what happened to. Uh, Ladybug and Hawk Moth, and, and I guess the, the rest of the world. Uh, <laughs> yeah, interesting. Capalong was a powerful episode, but having SAMG would have made it twice as good in my opinion. Also, Capalong related posts, just like the last one. Why didn't the Shattered Moon end up at Capalong? It would have looked spectacular if the moon was in the background. We can see here's what it was, and here's what it could have been. Because no time, no money, and not the best animation studio for this episode. We tried to do our best with what we had. Originally, it was supposed to be a sunset atmosphere. Sky was supposed to be full yellow and water black. That would have looked so cool. Here's the thing I don't get. I mean, obviously, I'm not a part of the team, and I don't know how all the finance stuff works, right? 
But season one, they had SAMG do the entire season. And I guess maybe, well, I, I'll talk about that here in a second. Um, so that, that was like, what, 26 episodes, 24 episodes? Don't remember exactly how many, but between those two numbers. Um, so we had that, and then season two was a mix between SAMG, DQ, was, this, was that Assemblage, and uh, a few others. And then season three came along, it was a lot of DQ, actually season three I think was Assemblage. I think season two was pretty much just DQ and just SAMG. And then season three came around, they had a bunch of different studios. They had Assemblage, DQ, SAMG. There was another one that I don't remember right now, and maybe another one too. They had a lot of different studios that they were bouncing between. But here's the thing though, right? SAMG is obviously the superior one. But like, why? When the show was first airing, right? Weren't they taking a risk by putting in a lot more money towards SAMG? And, and as it time went on, right? The show got more and more popular and got more and more deals all across the world. So shouldn't they be making more money? More money to put into producing the show and making it look good? I, it just sort of seems kind of whack to me because like, they put more money into the first season when it wasn't as popular and wasn't as successful. And now when it's like super successful and super popular, now they're just like, yeah, so DQ, yeah? <laughs> it's like, that's the worst one you could have picked. Why are you... So I don't know, I don't fully understand it. One reason could be SAMG was just like, all right, look, you're gonna have to start paying us more. And I mean, if, if that's true, then uh, that then that sucks, I guess, because SAMG you know, obviously looks the best. And if they're the ones who are like, all right, yeah, you gotta start paying us more then there's nothing you can really do about it. But like, I just, I don't know. I feel like something is going on in the background that we don't really know about. Cause I feel like the show should be making way more money than it was during season one time. So I don't know. I don't know why they have no money apparently. So I, I, I would love, those are just kind of things that I'd love to know. Like, I just like, I don't know. I'm kind of a nerd for those things. So, um, not like we're gonna do anything with the information, it's just something that like I'd wanna know. I wanna know how this stuff works behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, I thought that was interesting, because, you know. Season four is pretty much all DQ, with the exception of maybe a few SAMG episodes, and maybe a few other studios, um, because a lot of people think that um, Guild Trip was a different studio. I don't think it was SAMG, but I felt like it was a little bit better than DQ, right? Because um, like the hair looked better, the animation in some parts were a little bit better. Um, obviously the quality control wasn't as good. It, they had like a lot of, um, like weird things that happened in that episode. But I think the hair, which is like the biggest determining factor for me, it looked better than DQ usually does. So I, and a lot of people seem to think that it was a different studio. So I don't know, but it definitely was not SAMG. So I don't know what's going on. Thomas and Chloe's relationship in a nutshell. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. Yeah, well, okay. I did, when I first saw the title, I was like, are they going to be talking about how Thomas just doesn't like Chloe as a character? But no, I think they're talking about the the, the actual episode. It's, it's been a while. I felt like I remembered liking that episode, but yeah, it has been a little while since I've, I, I've seen it. So uh, yeah, this is, this is interesting. Interesting photo that they chose to take here. Same, Marinette. Same. What part of the morning routine takes the longest? Choosing an outfit, hair and makeup, of course. Deciding to get up, yeah. <laughs> Marinette knows where it's at. <laughs> Cause she's like, ah oh, man, ah, uh, I don't stay up super late defeating a villain. And I don't want to get up, but I have school. Oh uh, no, now I have to get up. And yeah, I feel you, Marinette. So after five years of refusing to draw, I finally got the courage to sketch a bit. Oh, this is so good! It, it's been five years and you haven't drawn anything? This is really good for a five year break. <laughs> Man, love to see like you in your prime, because if this is you and you're rusty and you haven't drawn anything, like, oh man, I'm sure like, <laughs> if you get warmed up and stuff, you'd be super good. Looks nice. Chloe Bourgeois slash Queen Bee Watercolor, illustration for Russian language fan fiction. Oh, this is watercolor? I mean, yeah, I can see it, but like, man, this is good. How did you get it digital like this? Or is it, wait, I'm so confused. Cause like, what? 
Did you did you have a piece of paper and you watered and you watercolored it and then you like scanned it onto the computer or is this I did you use like a watercolor style in Photoshop? I'm so confused because this looks really good. I I don't know. I don't know how like transferring things from like dig or um, from physical to digital. I don't know how all that works. Um, if anyone knows and anyone's done this before, let me know down in the comments. But like. Dang, this is really good. Like, like if you had told me that that you drew this, like like actually drew this, I wouldn't I wouldn't have, um, you know, I wouldn't have thought that originally because like, it looks really. I don't know. How do you do that? I don't know. Oblivio made Ladybug become Italian. You know, I feel like we've seen this before, especially when this episode first came out. Oh man, when this episode first came out. Everything went crazy like everything was exploding and huge stuff going down. Oh, man This was a fun time. I really like this episode. This was a good episode. It shows us what could have been <laughs> uh, Man, but yeah, it's interesting, but I feel like as far as this post goes not original. We've seen this before I can't be in love with you Ket Noir. You know that. Oh, yeah, ladybug Well, you'll change my mind when you see the video that I'll make eventually explaining why Lady Noir is the best ship. I haven't done that yet, but I plan on it. Okay, it'll come eventually. It'll be here within the next month, maybe. <laughs> uh, I do want to do it though. It's good. Just, just, just you wait. Just you wait. New Alia image from the upcoming movie. CGI still in progress, says Zag. They made that sound very professional. Says Jeremy Zag. Okay, yes, I've seen this, and the community feedback has been like, what happened to her hair? Now, this may be just me, but it sort of looks like her hair's wet, so that could explain why it's like so flat, I suppose is the right word you'd say. It also does not look nearly as long, but again, it could just be all built up in the back and it's like, you know, wet or whatnot. Now, what he means by CGI still in progress, look right here. It looks like he should be holding a flashlight like this guy, right? But obviously he's not, and you can see that there's light here as if it was coming from a flashlight or whatever. Um, so, I'm... I, I'm thinking that that's part of what he's talking about as well as to say like yeah, so we're still working on her hair So don't freak out too much yet. She's not done yet. So You know your concerns are Probably going to be fixed. I would assume right because this does not look like Alia Assuming that you know, this is what Alia would look like normally like I said it sort of looks like her hair is wet So that could explain it um, And obviously they're still working on it. So uh, you know don't be too upset yet, because it is still being worked on. My Ladybug inspired grad cap. Well, this is cool. Do they allow you to have, like, custom grad caps now? They didn't for me. What the heck? <laughs> why, why are they doing this now? That's so cool. Marinette slash Ladybug, my vision of the character. Watercolor illustration for Russian language fanfiction. Okay, so this is, like, for the same thing that we saw, like, for the Queen Bee, right? This looks so cool. Man, her suit is so boring right now. This one looks so much better. It's like armory and just has more details and stuff. And what annoys me is, oh, uh, the since it's CGI, 3D graphically animated, they could make it look good. And it wouldn't, like, you know, because obviously, if you made a design this, like, um, detailed in a 2D animated show, It'd be really annoying for the animators, right? Because there's so much going on. But in a CGI show, you don't have to worry about that, right? Because you just make one model and then you move that model. You don't have to redraw or remake anything. And it annoys me why they choose to go with all these bad, boring designs. It makes me sad. Like, come on, guys. <laughs> you could make it look so much better. I laughed too much while making this meme. A villain just viciously murdered half of the population in Paris. But you say two fancy words. Yeah, looking good. <laughs> uh, thank you for using a good new format, and it's not the um, Drake meme. I, it's okay if it's the Drake meme, if it is the Kent Noir or the Gabriel version, right? Or you can do your own version of this. Also good. But like, we don't need the the original Drake meme because we got uh, we got good memes now. We got good, like uh, it's like skins in a game, right? You know, you, you have your base original skin, but then, you know, we have we have all of these cool ones available and nobody uses them. Except for you. Thank you. Thank you for using. Good job. 
Adrian Agraz slash Ken Noir, my vision of the character. Watercolor illustration for the Russian language fanfiction. Looks like it's like um, uh, another continuation off of the other ones. You know what? I feel like seeing fan drawings and stuff, fan works, is really bad for me because it makes me want all these like really, really cool ideas. Like, he looks so much more um, armored and buff. Which, I mean, you know, Bob is not, he, he, he's younger than what this is portraying him to be, right? But, like, at least the armor looks cool. And then this, like, this is so cool. It's not just, like, you know, little black particles. It's like a cloud of death smoke, right? That's cool. And seeing this is just not good. Because then it's like, it makes me upset that we don't actually have something this good. Huh. Oh, well. We can hope for the future, right? But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, you can leave a like and subscribe for more content and support to this. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Um, so it will remind you when there... I'm a relatively... I'm a relatively new guy on the scene, I suppose you could say. Am I, though? With... with I don't know. Two years. Three years. Hmm... Long, long discussions. We're not even like halfway through, I don't think. Adrian a guest. A guest. Adrian a guest. Adrian a guest slash Kent Noir. My vision of the character. Watercolor illustration for Russian language fan fiction. Looking good already. <laughs> uh, that's not what I meant to say. I'll just redo this whole thing.